before starting anything, please make sure that you put something in the door so that it doesn't close before we start taking any handles off. We're then going to need a Phillips or flathead screwdriver, depending on the screws in your internal handle, and we're going to remove the handle. Remove both sides of the handle. And the spindle. And then we're ready to mark and drill our holes on the door. So in your box, like I mentioned in the manual earlier, you will have come with some fitting templates. So choose the template based on your model. Today we're going to be looking at B, but you also have C, or sometimes with A there's a different fitting method as well. So make sure you um, get the right template for your model. With a model B, we're going to be using the template in this format. If you have a model C, you need to use it in this format here. For the purpose of today, we're just going to look at the B. So first things first, get a pen or a pencil and look at the spindle hole in the middle here. We want to just make a small hole and push your pencil or pen through it, give it a bit of room. And then we're going to take the spindle, push that through the hole, and that just gives us a starting point. We're then going to put that spindle through the latch in the door, line this up so that the lines across are vertical with the side of the door. And when we're happy that it is lined up, we are going to just make a bit of a fold here and then remove the template, line it up better so that we get a vertical line down the side. And that's why these lines are there to help you make sure that it's vertical. We want to make sure that when we're drilling the holes, they are as vertical as possible to allow the handle to work. Once we've made a crease in it, we can then put it back on the door with the spindle, make sure that it's tight. Then take your pen, pencil or pin. We're going to look at the screw, the screw hole, the drill holes above and below. And in the middle of the crosshair, we want to just make an imprint or a mark. Now we need to press a little bit harder here because we need to make sure that it's going to leave a bit of a dint in the door so that we know where to drill. Once you've done that, you can take that template off, find the holes that you've made and just put a little mark there so you know exactly where you need to drill. And then we've done the internal. Now for the external side of things, we do want to make some marks as well, but to the, for the external side, we need to just turn the template upside down, put the spindle back through it again, put the spindle through the door latch and repeat the process. So make sure that it's lined up nicely with the side of the door, find those screw holes, you might need to push quite hard to make an imprint in the door here. Take it off, make sure you've made that print. Yeah. Mark it with your pencil. And now we know where to drill the holes. So we can remove the spindle. We can put our template down. And now we're at the point where we need to drill through the door and make the holes for the screws to go through. Okay, now we're ready to drill the holes through the door. So take your drill. We're going to line it up with the points that we have made, the, the marks that we've made. Make sure that your drill is as straight on to the door and vertical as possible and as level as possible because we want the drill to drill straight through in a flat line. Okay, so make sure you've put some pressure on the door so it's not going to move. Make sure your drill's level and then we're going to just slowly start drilling through the door. Keep some pressure on it so that it's going to go through. So there we go. We can now see that we've made a hole in the door here. Let's just check on the other side. Then it's gone through the mark that we've made and it has. That's great. So then we're going to do the same at the bottom. Make sure your drill's level. That one took a little bit more work, but we've now put two holes in the door. So what you can do once you've put the holes in, just double check on the other side that they're okay. 
that's fine. And then we're going to use the template again. So what I would suggest you do is just poke a hole through each of the drill holes, put it onto the spindle and just ensure that the holes line up. So we know we've got that done perfectly right. And then we can proceed forward with the rest of the installation. Also, so we're going to take the handle for the external handle and we're going to take the connection bosses here. And we're going to put them in holes either side of the handle. Like so. If you have some pliers, take some pliers and just tighten them up as much as you can. Then take your spindle, put that over the wire and push it all the way into the handle. Take a mounting plate, push this over the handle and then push the handle through the latch in the door. Make sure the collection bosses go through the door and then just let that handle rest. We then go take the internal handle, take the setting tool on your keys and on the inside of the handle, you can see a small hole. We're gonna put the tool into that hole and push, which is going to remove the battery pack and the outside plate. We're then going to take the handle and the mounting plate, put the mounting plate over the spindle, and then we're gonna to have to feed this cable through the middle of the handle. As you feed it through, it needs to go through a small gap in the handle. So just look through the other end of it and make sure you can feed that through. It's a little bit fiddly. There we go. And then before we put this onto the spindle, make sure you align the, uh, the mounting plate onto the handle. Push that onto the spindle and hold both handles. Make sure it is on. We're then going to take the fixing screws and push that through the handle until we can get into the other side. Give that a little tighten. Then take your screwdriver and tighten those up. There's no need to over tighten these, but just tighten them up so it nips. And then you can test the handle to make sure that it is operating the latch. That's all good. Next, we're going to take the battery pack and four AAA batteries. So just put the batteries in the battery pack. Like so. We're gonna take this small white connection and connect that to the wire. You'll hear a small beep. And then the set button on the back here, we need to make sure that that is going to the back left of the handle. So in this case, we're going to turn it over so it's facing the back left, push this battery pack into the handle, make sure it goes all the way in. And then we're going to take the magnetic face plate and just drop that on top as well. Now we can see that the handle is working from the inside, but if we go to the outside, the handle is completely reset. So any fingerprint should operate it. So let's try a finger. You can see that it goes green and activates the latch. However, when it is not activated, it doesn't activate the latch. The handle is now installed and ready for full setup.